Hey, what's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and tonight we're going to take a look at the new facial interfaces that are being offered by the team over at VR Cover. So I want to thank those guys for sending me a nice little care package here. Uh, I'm going to check out what's in the box, then we're going to pop them on the Rift, uh, kind of put them on my face and see how they feel. So basically, I've already opened the box, so this isn't an unboxing or anything. This is really more my impressions of the product. Um, in the box, I've got a couple of the facial interfaces. I've got the thin one. I've got the glasses, uh, the thicker glasses one, a couple of new, uh, pads for them, which are changeable by the way. And that is awesome, especially with touch and you're sweating and you want to change the pad. So anyway, all right, let's dive in the box here and see what we have. So first and foremost, love the box, by the way. The box has the same graphics as the cool t-shirt that they sent me and the rest of the VR spies back uh, when they sent us the cloth covers. So inside the box here, you can see we've got our first facial interface and that is the thin one. Um, we've got the second facial interface here, which is the thicker, um, I guess it's got a deeper eye box in it. So better for wearing um, glasses. And then we've also got two different types of pad. So we've got the thicker pad here, nice sponginess on that one. And we've got the thinner pads here, which just feel baby soft. I mean, these things are like super thin, super lightweight, and just ultra soft against the skin. So basically what you've got with the two facial interfaces here this one is going to get your eyes a little closer to the lenses, um, which actually uh, should, from what I'm reading on Reddit, give you a little bit better field of view. Um, this one is going to put you a little farther away from the lenses, but it's great for if you've got glasses on. Um, that way you don't have to risk your glasses lenses kind of getting right up on the Rift's lenses and uh, possibly scratching them. So both of these, as you can see here, um, have a Velcro um, strip in them. So the, the pads are completely changeable. So when you want to put on a new pad, you just basically line it up and ah, see if I can get that on there just that easy and just stick the pad right on there. So that is the farther away, uh, thicker glasses one with the thick pad here. We'll go ahead and affix the thinner pad to the closer or what they're calling the standard facial interface. And you can see not a lot of effort, just kind of fits right on there. Um, well, I say that, no, hold on. There we go. And there you have it. So nice and thin. Okay, so let's go ahead and take off the original interface with my uh, VR cover on it here. And we'll just go ahead and give that a nice little pop and it comes right off. And let's go ahead and go with the thinner interface here. So we'll go ahead and just uh, snap that in, kind of get it in place here and bam there you go it's on there that is so easy to do and you can see looks good looks nice and sleek on there no gaps everything lines up correctly so very very pleased with the look and feel of this um, so now let's see what it feels like against my face and uh, give it a little bit of a quick test run here uh, in Oculus Home and see if we can see this expanded field of view that people have been talking about on Reddit. Okay, so let's go ahead and slip it on here and uh, see how she feels. Okay. Get it adjusted here and wow. Okay, so first impressions, it is super soft against my skin. I've actually got sensitive skin. The, the DK2 used to break me out something fierce. So this, I mean, it, it, it's got a nice leatherish feel to it. Very, very soft against the skin. Uh, no pressure against the face. So that is fantastic. And I've got to say, unless it's a placebo, I am actually noticing it. It's not a, a phenomenally huge difference, 
but I am noticing a little bit wider field of view. Now, obviously, that's because my eyes are a little closer to the lenses, so everything's going to get a little bigger. Uh, learned a little bit about that when I did my Gear VR foam mod that you guys may remember from VRSpies.com. Nice uh, popular article I wrote on how to possibly reduce some of the god rays and get a little bit bigger field of view out of your rift. Well, essentially this is kind of doing the same thing, but it all feels more solid because with that, you know, you've fully removed the facial interface and then you taped in some gear VR foam, stuff like that. Um, never really was all that comfortable for me. And the field of view was so big that you actually saw the square edges of the screen with this. It's, it's the same as it is with the normal interface, just wider and super comfortable. I mean, absolutely comfortable. And I've got to say, maybe it's just me, but when I get my eyes closer to those lenses, I'm not saying they're not there, but the God rays do push out farther into the peripheral vision. So it looks a lot better. You know, Oculus Home for me and, you know, other games, which I can't wait to test this in, um, they, they've always plagued me with these God Rays ever since I got my CV-1, where they would just beam right into my eyeballs. Well, this kind of pushes it for me out to the outer peripheral vision, making it more of a kind of a smudging around the outside, very similar to when I tried the Vive. Uh, versus the direct beams of light. And, and I can definitely tell you that doesn't bother me as much. So very, very cool. Very happy with these. So thank you. Thank you, Team VR Cover, for sending me this set. Uh, I am uh, so grateful. Uh, this is going to make my rifting so much more pleasurable, especially now, like I said, since I've got touch. Loving the fact that those uh, facial covers are removable. Uh, you know, you get all sweaty and, and nasty and your foam starts getting gross. You just pull it off, wipe it down, put on a fresh, uh, pre fresh pad, and you are ready to go. So with that, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go play some games with these babies. So I'm going to throw a link for you guys down in the description if, if you're at all interested in anything that I've talked about with these uh, new VR cover facial interfaces tonight. Head over to that link, grab you a set. Um, I think you might like them. But for me tonight, that's going to do it. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off, y'all. Peace.